Eventually, you're going to need some method of organizing your photos so that you can edit or assign keywords or ratings to them. Basically, you need an, an in-between to go from Photoshop or even Camera Raw. So luckily, Photoshop ships with a program called Bridge, and it's from Bridge that you can do all these things. There are a few different ways to reach Bridge. There's an icon that's probably on your desktop, or in Photoshop, under File, you can select Browse, or there's an icon in the upper right-hand corner. It's a little bridge folder with a magnifying glass. So I'm going to click that one, and that is going to bring us into Bridge in the default workspace. And in this video, we're just going to take a look at the immediate workspace here. So by default, we have a content pane, which is in the middle. And if you look over to the left, you'll either have your favorites or your folders tab selected. And this will be the location on your hard drive that contains these images. To the right, by clicking an image, we have a preview window. And by default, it's pretty small, but later on, we'll go and customize the entire workspace because the Basically, the entire thing is totally customizable. But notice, when I move my cursor over the image in the preview window, it turns into a little magnifying glass. And when I click in a part of the image, it brings up the loop view, which you can drag around. And by using the plus and minus keys, you can zoom in on a particular detail, or you can use the jog wheel on your mouse if you have one. Click right in the center of the loop to make it go away. If the thumbnails are not large enough for your liking, down at the bottom there's a slider. And by dragging it out, you can have some pretty large thumbnails. And there are other default views as well next to the slider that controls your thumbnail size. We have these other three workspaces like the popular film strip view here. and then a view that also focuses more on the metadata. So I'll select your, our generic workspace here. Resize these thumbnails a bit. We have a filter pane, and we'll use this when we eventually start assigning keywords or ratings to these images, then we can filter and only show up in the content what we have selected as the filter. And then we have the favorites, folders, preview, metadata, and keywords panel.